What if we told you that China had plans to build a mega dam three times larger than the Three Gorges Dam? With China's controversial history, we looked into the concerns surrounding the $137 billion project. In this video, we'll reveal the massive size of the Yarlong Sangpo hydroelectric project and the world's concerns with civilian safety, environmental impact, and the control of natural resources. China's new mega dam, called the Yarlong Sangpo hydroelectric project, is no ordinary dam. This engineering marvel is set to be the biggest in the world. When it's done, it's expected to produce an eye-popping 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every single year. That's enough power to keep around 300 million homes lit up and running smoothly. That's almost the entire population of the United States. As for its size, the dam itself will stretch across the Yarlong Zhangbo River in Tibet, a river known for its steep drop and powerful flow. This natural force is what makes the location ideal for hydropower. Now brace yourself because you won't believe just how tall the dam's walls are. They're projected to stand an incredible 600 feet tall. That's about as tall as the Washington Monument or a 60-story skyscraper. I mean, the sheer scale is jaw-dropping. But wait, there's more. The project is expected to cost a staggering $137 billion. That's more money than some entire country's annual budgets. And if you're wondering why China's pouring so much cash into this, it's all part of their larger plan. It ties to their 14th five-year plan, which is all about boosting renewables and reducing pollution. Sounds like a great cause, right? Because who wouldn't want cleaner energy and less pollution? However, what's on paper doesn't always match with what's on the ground, because with all the promises of clean energy, it's also raising more than a few eyebrows. Let's take a look now at why this project's giving China's neighbors and even the rest of the world some serious anxiety. Now, you might be thinking, why all the fuss? It's just a dam, right? Well, not exactly. This isn't just any river we're talking about. The Yarlung Zhangbo River is like a lifeline. But here's a twist. It doesn't just belong to China. The river flows through India where it becomes the mighty Brahmaputra and eventually it winds its way into Bangladesh. So whatever China does upstream, good or bad, can ripple downstream, literally and figuratively. Now here's where things get tricky. Once the dam is built, China will have unprecedented control over the river's flow. Think about what that means for countries downstream like India and Bangladesh. China could choose to hold water back during dry seasons and droughts just like that. Or they could release massive amounts of water all at once, which could cause floods in neighboring countries. It's like giving somebody the power to turn off your faucet or flood your basement, depending on their mood. That's a nightmare for farmers and communities who depend on this river for their livelihoods. India, in particular, is feeling the heat. Because the Brahmaputra River isn't just any river for them, it supports millions in the northeastern states, providing water for drinking, farming, and transport. So if China decides to mess with the flow, it could cripple these areas mercilessly. And let's not forget, India and China already have a rocky relationship with border disputes adding fuel to the fire. So if care's not taken, this dam could easily become another point of tension between these two nuclear-armed neighbors. Now, let's talk about Bangladesh. For this low-lying country, the stakes are even higher. The Brahmaputra is crucial for their agriculture and fisheries, and if the water flow is disrupted, it could lead to massive food shortages and economic instability. Bangladesh has already faced water issues with India over the Faraka Barrage, so the idea of another upstream country holding the reins is terrifying for them. Simply put, this project isn't just about energy. For China, it's a symbol of power. But for its neighbors, it's a looming threat. Whether it's the environment, politics, or survival, there is a lot riding on this river. And that's why everyone's keeping a very close eye on what happens next. But it's not just about water. This dam is being built on a seismically active region. So, what would happen if a major earthquake struck and the dam gave way? Let's find out. Let's start with a fact that will make your jaw drop. The Himalayas, where this mega dam is being built, isn't just earthquake prone. It's one of the most geologically unstable regions on the planet. Tectonic plates are literally crashing into each other underground, and this has been happening for millions of years, which is why the region has been constantly shifting, creaking, and occasionally unleashing some of the most powerful earthquakes ever known to man. Just recently, Tibet experienced a 7.1 earthquake that killed over 100 people and left homes flattened like pancakes. Now, imagine for a second what would happen if a quake of that magnitude or worse hit China's colossal dam. 
And here's the terrifying reality. The proposed Yarlung Sangpo Dam will be one of the largest ever built, so if an earthquake damaged it or worse caused it to collapse, the downstream destruction would be on an unimaginable scale. Entire villages and cities could be swept away, millions of lives would be at risk, and the sudden release of billions of gallons of water would cause catastrophic flooding not just in Tibet but also in India and Bangladesh. This isn't just a disaster waiting to happen, it's a full-blown ticking time bomb. And earthquakes aren't the only problem. The Himalayas are also incredibly prone to landslides, especially during monsoon season. If heavy rain caused a landslide near the dam, it could block rivers and create a dangerous buildup of water. And when blockage eventually gives way, the resulting flood could wipe out everything in its path. Add that to the seismic activity in the region and you've got yourself a perfect recipe for disaster. But here's what makes it even worse. Scientists are already warm and climate change is making earthquakes and landslides more frequent and more intense. Melting glaciers are adding more water to the system, which increases the weight on the land and makes the ground more unstable. Simply put, building a mega dam in the middle of all this chaos is like stacking a house of cards on a shaking table. It might stand for a while, but sooner or later it's going to come crashing down. But as you would expect, the Chinese government says they've considered these risks and that the dam will be built to withstand quakes. But let's be real for a second. No structure, no matter how well engineered, can be completely earthquake-proof, especially in a region as volatile as the Himalayas. And when you're talking about a dam of this size, even the smallest crack could lead to catastrophic failure. Now, the Three Gorges Dam in China is a modern engineering marvel, sure, but let's not sugarcoat it, because this project had its fair share of missteps, which China should consider before building the new mega dam. Because without a doubt, the mistakes here were catastrophic enough to be case studies in what not to do for future large-scale infrastructure projects. If anything, the dam serves as a massive 2.3-kilometer long reminder of how cutting corners and ignoring nature can come back to bite you hard. Let's start with the most glaring mistake, which is the mass displacement of people. When the dam was built, 1.2 million people were forced to pack up and leave their homes because entire towns got submerged underwater and were gone forever. To make things worse, many of these people were relocated to less fertile, economically disadvantaged areas. Imagine being told, hey, your house is about to become Atlantis, so here's a plot that can barely grow weeds. Not really a fair trade, right? The human suffering caused by this displacement is a major black mark on the project, and it's a lesson that the Chinese government should take to heart as they embark on the new project. Then there's also the environmental costs of the Three Gorges Dam that were either ignored or downplayed in the planning stages, and wow did that backfire. For starters, the dam wreaked havoc on the Yangtze River ecosystem. Endangered species like the Chinese river dolphin were pushed even closer to extinction, and entire aquatic food chains were disrupted. The same could be the case with China's new dam, considering that it cuts through the ecosystems of India and Bangladesh. To add to that, there's the issue of water quality. Stagnant water in the dam's reservoir can become a breeding ground for algae, just like it happened with the Three Gorges Dam. Lastly, let's talk about the lofty promises of economic growth. Yes, the new dam has the potential to generate a ridiculous amount of electricity, but the project's ballooning costs, combined with the social and environmental damage, make it hard to call this a win. The lesson here? Don't overhype your project just to justify shortcuts or massive investment because you're only setting yourself up for disappointment. That was the case with the Three Gorges Dam, and this new dam might be following suit. Now, you'd think that the mega dam is only shaking up China's neighbors, but it's drawing attention from global powers too. In case you didn't know, the US, a country already not too fond of China, is paying close attention. Just last week, US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan made a trip to India, but this wasn't a friendly vacation. It was a serious meeting to discuss the potential fallout of China's ambitious project. But why does the US care so much? Well, if things go south between China and their neighbors, it could create instability that ripples across the globe. And let's be real. No one wants to see water wars becoming a headline in the 21st century. But with resources like water becoming scarcer, it's a scenario the world can't ignore. Then there's the Tibetan government in exile, and they're not holding back. They're accusing China of exploiting Tibet's fragile environment to serve their own purposes. From mining minerals to building massive dams, they say China's actions are leaving behind a trail of destruction. And they get a point, because recently, Tibet experienced a devastating earthquake, and some believe China's large-scale projects in the region are contributors to such disasters. Now the Tibetan leaders are calling for the world to take a closer look at what's happening in this sensitive area. Simply put, the stakes are sky-high. Climate change is already wreaking havoc with shrinking glaciers and erratic weather patterns. 
Now, adding a massive dam in an earthquake-prone region feels like tempting fate. Looking at things objectively, China's mega dam isn't just about electricity or economic progress. It's a harsh reminder that countries can now use natural elements as weapons of dominance and control against their neighbors. But while the whole world waits to see how things unfold, head to the comments and tell us if you think the Chinese government has good or bad intentions with their mega dam. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.